Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe Tutorials CICS Part 2. So in this video, I would like to share you the important concept called the functions of CEMT. So what could be the various functions of your CEMT? So as you know that CEMT is a system defined transaction. So what are the functions it has and how do we utilize when working with CICS online? as a programmer so the first function is like uh, setting a new copy that is if we call it we for example cemt set program program one new so whenever you have a program new program so what you used to do we used to define and we, we used to install this new program so if you have done any modification to your programs so instead of defining that again again your program so no need to define it so just you have if you if, if you give C empty set program a new copy that's it it defines internally and it gets a uh, the I mean what are the it gets overrides into the PPT uh, PPT table and uh, just gets it added over there and it, it also adds the load module to the online region so that is one of the important thing uh, setting a new copy this is very regularly used why because we get uh, we do a lot of programming changes when you work uh, practically I mean when there is a, a new program you need to develop so we better to use this command instead of defining and everything so killing a transaction or cancellation of a transaction CEMT inquire task and transaction name and then P stands for purge so we have a beautiful command called enquiry so once you enter CEMT enquiry it gives all the tasks you can all important functions you can work with the CEMT so based on that functions you can add it you can select it and do this if you want to purge a particular transaction so CEMT enquiry first you have to enquiry so what you have to enquiry the transaction name and then what this action needed purge it so this the second function killing a transaction and uh, we can also inquire about transactions and programs so CEMT or I you can give IN you can give anything CEMT I program program name if you want to identify the program uh, if you want to identify your transaction CEMT transaction CEMT I transaction transaction name uh, if you want to inquire this is another method of uh, identifying the program name PGM1 okay so this is about the inquiring about transactions and programs and this is the third functionality of CEM2 and uh, another functionality would be like opening and closing of a visa and files so if you want to define if uh, I mean mainly for CICS mainly we use work with visa and DB2 files right we don't use flat files so so you have to opening and closing of visa and files can be used by CEMTI file and file name file name once you enter this command so it you'll get you'll get with the set of options and you can select open or you want to close and various operations you can do yes so I'll be showing this practically in the next tutorials all these things once we create a map program and everything I can show you in details about this thing in a practically since it is a theoretical part so just I, I'm, I'm trying to explain everything in theoretically so so these are the very imp very important functions you have various set of uh, uh, inbuilt functions for CEMT transaction ID so once you log into C uh, once you log into CIC screen just press CEMT IN enter then you will uh, you will and you can see you can find various set of runs I mean functions they can use based on that you can work on this so why I'm saying this this is very important so uh, Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I will be coming out with more and more videos on CICS. If you like this video, kindly please create, share, subscribe or comment these on YouTube channels so that I will be coming up with based on your comments I can come I can come up with more and more videos. This is this is only a knowledge sharing knowledge sharing videos. This is which is very which is for free. It will be always available in my YouTube channel. So Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and pleasurable day.